about halfway through my racing career, uh, that was about 10 years through it, I, uh, I did a race in, in the jungles of Borneo and came down really sick. Uh, I got some poisoning called leptospirosis from bats in a cave we were squirming through. And I ended up really, really crooked, like the doctors thought I was going to die. I was on life support machines in the intensive care unit of a hospital over there. And obviously <laughs> I didn't die, but um, a few weeks later I was recovering in hospital. I got lots of get well cards, fantastic. But one card had a little piece of paper inside it that changed my life. And that piece of paper, I bet you're curious, it had on it, it was, a, it was a desiderata written by an old lady. She was 92 years old and she was on her deathbed and she knew it. She only had a few days to live. And she got someone to take some notes. And the note said, if I had my life again, I'd do it differently, dot, dot, dot. And she listed off all the things she'd wished she'd done in her life that she didn't get time to do. And then she died. And I thought, that's really tragic. You know, as I was lying in my, in my near deathbed, I thought, wow, if I had died, would I have anything on my to-do list, my regret list? And so I listed them all off and set about doing that for the, the rest of my career and actually the rest of my life. And, you know, the summary from that would be, don't die with any, with any regrets, you know, always do your best so you can look back and be satisfied. And uh, next time I was on my deathbed, I wanted to have a, a big smile on my face and yeah, I ticked it all off, it doesn't really matter if I didn't do the, the rest of the things, I did the most important things. And it's a bit like that movie, The Bucket List. And you know what, just a few months ago, I was over in the Sahara Desert and had an accident doing an adventure. We were kite surfing or kite bugging across the Sahara Desert, setting a world record. And once again, I was in hospital and the doctor said, gee, you're lucky you didn't die, you know, you could have broken your neck or had a brain bleed. And as I was lying there, I thought, oh, wow, how was my to-do list? How was my regret list? Would I have, uh, have anything left important to do on it yet? And I realised if I had died, I'd have a big smile on my face. I was doing what really mattered. Thank you.